Hello everyone, for today's magic card trick tutorial, I thought it'd be neat to share with you a prediction magic card trick uh, using a regular deck of cards, well mixed, well shuffled. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make uh, three predictions, okay? So I'm just gonna go through the deck and look for three cards that I think uh, the spectator may pick, okay? So there's one, there's two, and there's three, okay? So there's three prediction cards, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have the spectator, as I just deal cards down on the table, I'm just gonna have them tell me when to stop, okay? So I'm gonna start dealing down any amount of cards and they can stop me at any point in time that they want. Let's say they stop me there, okay? I'm gonna use my first prediction card, place it right there. Now, for the second prediction, and it'll be um, a little bit fairer, and I can even uh, cut the deck too, just to make sure it's more fair. Um, I'll just deal down again and the spectator can tell me when to stop and let's say they stop me there okay there's my second prediction card and now I'll stop there so now let's recap and there's my third prediction okay so I've dealt down any number of cards and the spectator has stopped me at two different cards okay they stopped me there at this one here and I marked it with the jack of diamonds which was my first prediction they stopped me there and I marked it here with the eight of clubs okay and that was my second prediction and so wouldn't it be amazing if I predicted that they would stop me at the match of the, each of these cards. Now the match for the eight of clubs in a deck would be the black eight of spades. And look at that, they stopped me there. And then the match for this card, the jack of diamonds, would be the jack of hearts. Look at that. Pretty amazing, right? Now my third prediction was the ace. And wouldn't it be amazing if they stopped me at all the aces? And that's against the odds, and it's really easy to do, and it uses a regular deck of cards. Now, before I show you how to do it, please like and subscribe to this video. I really appreciate it. It really helps me out. I'd also like to give a shout out to all my channel members. I really appreciate you. You guys really help this channel out, and it motivates me to post more videos. And if you look for information on how to become a channel member, just click the tab on YouTube, and it gives you all the information there, okay? Also, check out thebestmagicshop.com, where you can find some awesome new magic tricks, accessories, shirts, bags, and more for yourself or anyone who just likes magic. All right, against the odds, the tutorial. You're gonna have to set the deck up a little bit, and I do it a little bit easier than um, kind of the original um, explanation for this trick. It's been around for a while, but you're just gonna need to find two matching cards that you wanna use. Um, you know, you can use a face card, a spot card. The card don't matter what what matches you use. So you can use any one in, the, in a regular deck of cards and then obviously the four aces, okay? So to set the deck up, take your first match and an ace, okay? Place them on the bottom of the deck, just like so. And then the second setup is to take uh, two aces and your second match, put them, put the second match in between the two aces and then those go on top of the deck just like so, okay? So your setup is just ace, jack on the bottom and all the other cards in between and then ace, second prediction, ace, okay? So that's just your setup. Now these three cards, okay, the jack, the black eight and the ace, they can just go in the deck anywhere you want. It doesn't matter because you're just gonna pull them out um, when you do the trick, okay? So you can start out you have your regular deck of cards and you can shuffle as many times as you want, just as long as you keep these two cards on the bottom and then the top three cards on top, just by shuffling those last. So you shuffle the bottom cards first and then the top three cards you shuffle last, okay? So you can shuffle over and over and over again, just as long as you maintain the order of the cards, okay? Now you go through the deck and you look for your uh, three prediction cards, okay? Which is the black eight, the jack, and then the other ace. And they'll be mixed up if you shuffle the cards, so they'll just be uh, you know, scattered throughout the deck, okay? Here's the other ace. Now, you, your first card's the jack, so you want that to be the third card. Uh, your third prediction is the ace, so I put that one down first, then followed by the eight, and then the jack, okay? So I say that's those are my three predictions, and you can hold the cards like this so nobody sees it. Give the cards a shuffle at this point if you want, and you're just maintaining those bottom cards and the top three, um, just like you did before, okay? Now you say, um, made three predictions and then you just deal down as many cards until the spectator tells you when to stop and they can stop you at any point in time it doesn't matter so let's just say they stop you there you mark it with your first prediction and of course your jack's on the bottom so that'll set that card uh to be 
uh, set up to reveal that you've predicted that card. Now, before you do the second one, you have an ace on the bottom, the eight, and then another ace, okay? So because you dealt down, you have to deal down more than three cards the first time you do it so you can get this set up like this, okay? So now, the second time, before you do the second prediction, you wanna get a pinky break underneath the bottom ace, and you're gonna do a false cut, which you swivel off the top of the cards, bring this ace over that you have a thumb break on, drop it on top of that deck, make, sh make it look like you're cutting the cards by squaring them up on the top pack, place this pack down, and place this card on top. And you just did a false cut, but you've placed the bottom card on the top, okay? So when you do it one more time, you get a pinky break underneath the bottom card to hold it with your thumb, swivel the top stack off, okay? Place this stack on top of that, dropping that bottom ace on top of this stack, square these cards up, drop them on the table, and drop them on like that, okay? That's the only sleight of hand kind of move that you have to do with this trick, okay? So if you just, you know, do it during the trick, you say, I'm just gonna give the cards a cut, okay? It just looks like that. Now you've just placed the bottom card on the top. Now, for the second prediction, you do, uh, you know, just like you did for the first, deal down any amount of cards and they'll tell you when to stop and then let's say you stop there and mark it with that card, okay? Now your deck is all set for the reveal and now just spread the cards out, okay? And then find the card, the first card, the Jack of Diamonds, take the card next to it, leave it there and take all the other cards on top of it and just square them up and leave them here, okay? Take these two cards, place them in front, find the other card where you stop, take the card right next to it, okay? And then these cards, square them up in a pack, take this card, place it in front, square these up, and now the aces are all on the bottom of these packs. You found the matching cards, you show your third card, and with that setup, leaves you with all the aces on the uh, bottom of these three uh, stacks of cards, okay? And that's against the odds, and it's pretty simple to do. It's just a little bit of setup and one little sleight of hand move, okay? Let me know what you think. I appreciate it, and until next time.